In yesterday's live stream, somebody brought up my channel to Foodie and she basically questioned my accuracy. She didn't do it in a mean way. I think she really honestly doesn't understand the purpose of looking at your macronutrients. In this video, I'll go ahead and show you how I do it. I have some footage from about a week ago where I ordered chicken capsa from a restaurant. Let's start off with the live stream. There's a channel that counts your calories. <laughs> <laughs> it's how, how can you be how can it be accurate that's my problem when exercise creates a deficit it does yeah it creates a, even you know it depends how much you eat versus how much you exercise but yeah when you're heavy you burn more calories at, with exercise at first because you know i don't know what the reasoning is but salah can't prepare my meals <laughs> it'll be takeout hi corn chowder um, yeah, you can estimate them, sure, but, like, to be here without measuring, I don't know. It'd be hard, you know? Even for me here, I have trouble. If you look at the playlist called Mukbang Macros on my channel, you'll see that I've done dozens of videos counting the macronutrients for various meals. While the majority of them are for Foodie Beauty's meals, I do cover other Girl World creators as well. Now I started doing this for a couple of reasons. Number one, I was tired of people over exaggerating. Every time Foodie put up a different mukbang, people would say that she was eating tens of thousands of calories in each sitting. And I knew that simply wasn't true. And number two, this is something I actually do for myself as well. When you're working on losing weight the way that I am, it's really important to know what you're eating. That way you can offset a heavier meal with something lighter. Over time, more people are starting to watch my videos about the macros, and now people kind of expect me to do this. So yeah, I'm the channel that counts your calories. It's not just me though, keep in mind, there are other channels like Chikara Transformations where Alona also eyeballs your calories. She's an actual bodybuilder and a coach, so you probably want to watch her videos as well. But let's go ahead and get to the chicken kabsa. I work in an office where we like to get takeout every now and then and sit and eat lunch together. I recently ordered chicken kabza from a local Middle Eastern restaurant. I wanted leftovers for dinner, so I got a large fatouche salad, the chicken kabza which comes with rice and a side salad, and kanafa to share. Here's what my friend got, the falafel platter with hummus and baba ganoush on the side. If you're going to try to track your food, you have to start out by portioning everything out. So I took out the chicken, just the dark meat, and that was the base. After that, I measured out about three quarters of a cup of rice using a 10 ounce plastic cup that I had in the kitchen. If you like this type of video, I can take a set of measuring cups to the office and do more of them. Just let me know in the comments. Rice is one of those things that'll really sneak up on you if you're not careful. So always try to measure it out. I filled out the rest of the plate with the salad and this is what it looks like in the end. I later discovered that they forgot the dressing, so I just used a little bit of balsamic from the kitchen. Just look at how much I have left over to take home for dinner. It's crazy. So, to estimate the macronutrients for this meal, I looked up 1.5 cups of fatouche salad, about 3 quarters of a cup of yellow rice, you know, the Mahatma kind, and about 5.2 ounces of chicken, dark meat. When you add it all up, this is what you get. 691 calories, 38 grams of fat, 1,579 milligrams of sodium, 50 grams of carbs, 4.7 grams of which are sugar, and 39 grams of protein. I ended up eating about half of the salad that you see on the plate, and there was no skin on the chicken, and because we don't know the exact recipe for the rice, it's just kind of a guess. And that's the thing about calculating your macronutrients. It's never going to be 100% precise. Unless, of course, you're making the food yourself. So, by the numbers, this isn't a great meal, but it's not terrible. I don't have any underlying conditions like type 2 diabetes or high blood pressure, so for me, it's fine. I took the leftovers home, shredded up the chicken, and had it with a salad for dinner. As for the rice, I put it up so I could use it later for a recipe video. And in my mind, that's kind of what you have to do with takeout. Portion it out, look and see what you've got, and then eat accordingly. 
If you're trying to eat in a calorie deficit, then you can't just get takeout and eat everything in the box and then try to calculate it. You have to plan ahead. So order the chicken and rice, it's fine. Get the dessert, but share it with your friends. There's always a way to do this. One thing that Foodie said that I actually do agree with is that food is not inherently good or bad. It's just how you eat it. If you're interested in counting macronutrients for yourself, then there are a lot of great online resources. My favorite website for looking up branded foods is nutritionix.com. If I'm trying to analyze a recipe from scratch, then I use the Happy Forks website. And then if you're looking to track your macros, I use an app on my phone called Macros, M-A-C-R-O-S. It's free and it's really easy to use. You just type in your personal information like your height, weight, and goals, and it gives you a calorie goal. As for changing how you eat, that's going to take some effort. Start off by simply looking up and tracking your macronutrients and then going from there. While it's never going to be 100% accurate with store-bought or restaurant food, it's better than nothing. And if your doctor has given you specific guidelines like to eat low sodium or certain numbers of carbs, then at least it'll give you a jumping off point. Drop me a line in the comments and let me know what you think about all of this. I'd love to hear from you. And rice? Rice would be really hard. And cheese, that's impossible. No cheese. Ha, 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 ha.